environment. So, um, our next presenter is uh, Matthias Frosteros, I hope I said that correctly, once again from um, at the National Library of Finland. Um, so, take it away. Yeah, thank you. And uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I have the prestigious honor of being last. So, so yeah, uh, I will be telling a tale of tragedy, but one of ultimate triumph. Uh, about how we, how we killed our most loved service and, and no one better than I. Uh, we actually did it twice. Uh, first, we did it very wrong and that's the tragedy part. Uh, and then we tried to learn from it and that's the triumph part. And we hope that, uh, that we can maybe, maybe share, this, share this experience and, and uh, maybe someone can avoid the, the tragedy part. Um, so first, a bit of background. Uh, the general Finnish thesaurus uh, is the most used thesaurus in Finland. Uh, it, it is being used outside the, the library domain as well. Uh, and it was originally developed in the 1980s. Uh, it's monolingual. Uh, Finland has two official languages, Finnish and Swedish, but the, the uh, general Finnish thesaurus is, is only in, in Finnish. There's a Swedish uh, counterpart called Alars, which is really, really close to the, to the Finnish one uh, structurally. There's very minor differences, but, but they are separate. Uh, and the structure of the, of the general Finnish thesaurus is very, very much tied to the Mark 21 format. Uh, so, so very much to the, to the library world in, in that sense. Uh, then, uh, originally, the thesaurus was, was uh, published uh, as printed books. Uh, but in 1999, it was decided that that, uh, that maybe it should be available on the web, uh, and a dedicated site for browsing it, uh, both the, the Finnish and the Swedish version, as well as the music domain thesauri, uh, was developed, and, and this, this site was called Vesa. Uh, it looked like this, uh, very, uh, hmm, not very pretty, maybe very, very 90s in, de in design. Uh, but uh, but it was it was made for a single purpose. It was very functional, uh, and well, we we I can I can sort of spoil the ending. We killed it <laughs> uh, this this beginning of this year. So it was used for a pretty long time, and uh, and the users were, were were very used to it and and its quirks and 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 so on. It was very fast, very reliable, and whenever we uh, conducted a user survey, uh, this VESA was always at the top of the heap. Uh, it was, there was absolutely nothing wrong with it and no improvements were needed. Uh, but as it turns out, sometimes the, the customers are wrong. <laughs> so um, there was no, no proper support for linked data, no APIs. Uh, you, couldn't, you couldn't use, use the uh, Thesauri through the, through the service. Uh, and the software that it was built on was getting older and older and more difficult to maintain. Uh, so it was a... Maintaining that was a sort of a strain to the resources, and if we wanted to do something new, we needed a new service. So uh, there was this uh, research project uh, in all the university and the University of Helsinki, which began in 2003, uh, lasted until 2012, so nine-year project, uh, and. Uh, the aim of the project was to build an, uh, a semantic web infrastructure for Finland, and uh, one of the things that were built was Onki, uh, which was this uh, general thesaurus and ontology service. And the idea was the, that it should handle moderately complex all ontologies as well as the thesaurus and classifications, and it would have the APIs to allow you to uh, integrate it into your own system and, and so on. And along with this, uh, the general Finnish thesaurus YSA was transformed or, or a new version was built called YSO, uh, general Finnish ontology, uh, where we moved 
from terms to concepts, uh, used URIs, uh, and uh, build a fully multilingual one uh, vocabulary and with machine understandable semantics. Uh, the first version of Onki was built by engineers for engineers. Uh, there, was, there was some input from the actual users, but not, not so much. Uh, and uh, in the, in the, when it was built, and as sort of uh, uh, a result that was probably, in hindsight, surprising to no one ever, uh, the users weren't very happy with it. Uh, so Onki 2 came about, it was, an, uh, it was a failed attempt to, to replicate VESA as closely as possible, because that was very loved. But unfortunately, it, it wasn't possible, because the, the, what we were trying to do was much more complex than what VESA was trying to do, and trying to import the, the good things about VESA was, was basically impossible. Uh, so Onki 2 was very short-lived. And uh, finally came Onki 3, which tried to sort of, well, try to take some of the, well, be an, a compromise of sorts, take into account some of the, what the users wanted and so on. But the, the main point here was that the mm, Onki was, was a research prototype, and we weren't interested, or the research group wasn't interested in, in usability research as such. Uh, so Onki was a proof of concept, and, and also it wasn't very reliable. Uh, it crashed often uh, because reliability also isn't very interesting as a research thing. Uh, but still, Onki was slated to replace VESA in 2011, <clears throat> and then we got lots of feedback. And much of it wasn't positive, so we decided to not do it and pulled back. Uh, so there was, there, was, there was quite a bit of communication that we are going to, uh, VESA is going to die in 2011, and, and two days before the date that it was supposed to die, we pulled back. That, no, 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 bad idea. Uh, so a better idea was hatched, uh, and it was, it was to build a production version of Onki. Uh, so in 2013, Finta project was uh, established in, in the National Library of Finland, funded by the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Culture and Education, and the idea was to build a national level uh, thesaurus and ontology service. Uh, and it looks like this, if you go to finta.fi. Uh, the user groups for Finta were quite a bit more than for VESA. VESA was just for the annotators. Uh, while Finta tries to, to uh, cater to the needs of the vocabulary developers as well as the application developers. Uh, and we had quite a few design principles. Uh, first of all <laughs> was the reliability and, and, and uh, fast, being fast. And also that no extra workload should be, should be uh, put on to the annotators so that the user interface should be as easy to use as, as VESA or better. And, uh, and we put a lot of emphasis on usability, uh, and I will get to that in a, in a, in a moment. Uh, but all of this was done in deep collaboration with people with real annotation experience. So the project included several people uh, directly involved uh, in this, and they took active, active roles in the in the uh, in the design, uh, so we could get feedback straight away. And we also there was uh, some digging up uh, information based on the on the vessel logs and so on. So we tried to learn as much from the from the failure as possible. So um, I want to highlight a few few things. First, first is the user testing. Uh, as it turns out, professional annotation or indexing work isn't very common, so the pool of test subjects that we had was pretty limited, and, uh, and it was also pretty heterogeneous, so there, was, uh, there were annotators who, who annotate books, or museum artifacts, or health documents, or whatever, and they, they differ from one another. Uh, then there's people who do it in Finnish, people who do it in Swedish, people who do it in both. And uh, finally, the, the difference between doing it 
uh, as, as the bulk of your work versus doing something else most of the time and then annotating as, a, as, a, as an auxiliary thing. So we needed to plan this testing quite well because the, the test subjects were so limited. Uh, and uh, we needed to sort of choose the uh, things that we wanted to test uh, and, and then choose the test subjects based on, on sort of that. Uh, and since, since the pool was, there were, uh, there were, it, it was unlikely to get any bigger, we had to sort of uh, plan the testing in, well in advance. And uh, yeah, we set up these few tasks and done a few, few testing rounds, uh, trying, to, trying to sort of uh, get to the bottom of, 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 of usability. Um, and in order to, to get a nice number, we used a system usability scale, which is this lightweight tool for measuring usability. Uh, it has 10 questions, which are pretty simple, and, and you get a score from 1 to 100, with, with actually 68 being average uh, based, on, based on empirical research. So, so 50 isn't average, but 68. Uh, but this is, it's a, it's a nice tool uh, in, that, in that it's easy to implement and you get something, some, some sort of benchmark with it. Uh, so we tested things and as you can see Onki 3 got 48 which is quite a bit lower than 68 which is the average. And, uh, and Finto uh, got, well more than average every time we tested. Uh, unfortunately we couldn't test VESA as finding a finding a pro professional annotator who didn't use it or hadn't used it before uh, wasn't possible, so, <clears throat> so we couldn't test it. But, but maybe that's good because, because it might have gotten 100 or something and then we would have looked bad. Um, another thing that we did was, was very patient long-term communication. Uh, we went to all the different uh, happenings and, and try to present, <laughs> present this idea that, that VESA is going to die after all and Finto is going to be as good as that one. And we try to emphasize the fact that the user should get no extra workload and the new possibilities uh, that were afforded by, by switching to Finto, uh, including full support for multilinguality and so on. And then we did a very long countdown to the end. We uh, put up a banner on the on, on Vesa, Vesa site that, that Vesa is going to die uh, and is nigh, uh, and so on. And, uh, and finally, I would like to uh, mention some of the new features that, that we wanted to sort of highlight over, over Vesa's design. Uh, first of all, Finto is modular, so you can add various things to it. Uh, one neat thing is the int integration into, uh, into this Finna search and access service uh, so that if you go to a, a term page, uh, if you go, to, go or a concept pa page in Finto, you get, uh, you get uh, links to, to museum, archive, and library materials that links to materials that have been annotated using that concept. Uh, and we also built this suggestion system for new concepts and changes to existing ones. Uh, originally, the, the suggestions for new terms were done through email, but we wanted to sort of uh, streamline that. We built this uh, simple web form uh, that, uh, that a person suggesting something could for, uh, fill out. And, uh, and each suggestion, it opens an issue on GitHub uh, so that allows for commenting the suggestions. Uh, everyone can see see what what has been suggested and then tell that that uh, I also need this one. This is a good good term, or or isn't this the same term as that other one that is already in the in the vocabulary or whatever? Uh, and also, GitHub allows for powerful search tools and and uh, and marking where the suggestion is going uh, in the. Uh, development process, so it's much more transparent that you can see that okay, this is uh, this has been accepted or or hasn't been, and and so on. And 
Aside from going to GitHub, the suggestions also go to the suggestions vocabulary in Finto, where you can use them straight away. They get a, get a URI, uh, and if you're feeling brave, you can use them. Uh, if they get accepted to the vocabulary, the URI stays. If they do not get accepted, for example, the, the concept was already in the vocabulary, but with a different term or something, uh, then we give a, give a uh, is replaced by relation to the to the other concept, so that the, that if you use the URI, it will still point somewhere useful. Uh, yeah, and and this has gained uh, incredibly good feedback. This system, uh, which was a bit surprising, because we were sort of unsure whether GitHub uh, is going to be popular with the with the. Uh, humanistic librarians, but apparently it is. Uh, so yeah, uh, and finally, yeah, the, the, the death of VESA. Uh, it was unplugged uh, in the beginning of, of this year and, and to zero negative feedback, which was sort of surprising. Now, I can't rule out the possibility that the, the, the reason that we got zero negative feedback was because we failed so horribly <laughs> the first time. But uh, if that isn't the reason, then I suggest that if you ever do something like this, avoid the failure. Uh, yeah, if you can. So yeah, that was it. Thank you. So we have quite a bit of time, and I assume quite a few questions. So does anyone have, someone must have a question about this fascinating project. Yeah. So first, thank you for that epic saga. Um, you said the URI for a concept that is suggested stays the same even though it gets accepted into the main thesaurus. Um, I, that kind of surprised me. Do you give it like a second one or can you elaborate on that for a bit? I mean, I don't know if you understand what, what my confusion is. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure why. Okay, why good. Um, I, I was like, there would be like, my, my, my assumption is there's a second namespace where you put the suggestions into, and when they are accepted into the main th um, namespace, they would like get an ID in that namespace as well, so they are, if you look at the URI, you see it is part of the oh. thesaurus. We use the, we use the same, same namespace for the suggestions as for the, for the ones that get through. Uh, so, well, yeah, uh, basically that means that there, um, we sort of try to avoid having much information in the, uh, in the URI. We try to make it as, as unintelligible as possible <laughs> so as to avoid uh, people making assumptions based on the URI itself. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it means that, that well, there's a, uh, our URI scheme is basically that there's a namespace and then uh, then a P and running number. Uh, so so this means that there might be gaps uh, in the in the local names, but 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 you aren't really supposed to sort of make any. Uh, or or you aren't supposed to use the URIs to sort of. Um, get any extra information, if that makes sense. <laughs> Thank you. Would anyone else like to ask a question while I'm on this side of the room? Yeah. I uh, rather like this idea with handling suggestions. We face something similar in the EHRI project. Um, my question is, does Finto include an editorial interface? for Tesaurus editors, for the vocabulary makers, or if not, then what, do, what is used? Uh, yeah, it doesn't, uh, unfortunately. The, uh, the actual vocabulary work is done 
for the for the general thesaurus, it's done inside the library system, which is uh, unfortunate. Uh, and uh, for the uh, for the YSO for the general Finnish ontology, uh, it is done in uh, top red composer. Uh, there, that's one part of the workflow that we are still sort of working on. That that you could get the uh, suggestions as nicely as possible from the. Uh, from the from the suggestions vocabulary into the, the actual vocabulary it's a well it, it works but it's a bit messy I think currently <clears throat> uh, it would be very nice if there was a proper uh, if there was a, a, a proper editor that you could simply use but unfortunately the, the uh, sort of the infrastructure around the library system is such that it doesn't really allow it currently Further question? Yeah, Joachim. Thank you very much for this talk. Um, I, I'm a fan of Cosmos, uh, and uh, could you uh, a bit elaborate on the relationship between Cosmos and uh, Finto? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Cosmos is the uh, sort of generalized or, or general SCOS uh, browser and uh, uh, publication platform. Uh, and Finto is a, like a specific implementation of it. Uh, so Finto is, it basically runs on SCOSMOS, uh, but there is a few, uh, like Finto has a, a unique, uh, unique uh, design. Uh, it looks different from 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 the normal cosmos design uh, and also naturally the sort of the the database or the, or the triple stores are are finto specific but but basically basically uh, they are very much the same uh, in a, in a way in that in that finto is is merely a, a specific installation of cosmos Uh, I'll ask if we have one more question. They seem to keep coming, so I don't want to cut anyone off. No? Yes. In that case, maybe I'll ask Adrian. Oh, ask us to. Please, once again, thank you. Thank you. And now I'll pass to Adrian to say some great, words. Great. 